Hey guys, Brandon Johnson here again. Thanks for joining me. I'm coming at you today with one of my all-time favorite tunes, Blue Railroad Train by Tony Rice. This is an awesome song to build your soloing and to grab all those really cool Tony Rice licks out of there. It's played out of capo 3 and it's in the open D position, which means it's in the key of E. So I cover the lead part on this song, start to finish, including what I like to call the money lick at the very, very end, which is this really high descending lick starting on the high E and just cascading all the way down the neck, which is just awesome. And then I also cover the rhythm for this song, which is slightly different if you're playing rhythm over the lyrics versus over the melody or over the lead part, the form is slightly different. So I cover both of those. So I hope you enjoy it and let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at Blue Railroad Train. Now this song starts with an awesome Tony Rice pickup in the key of D. So it starts with an upstroke on the open A, followed by a downstroke on the low E, first fret to second fret. So it's upstroke, downstroke, and then upstroke. Okay, so it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Notice after that slide up, there's a there's a brief pause. So it goes open A, and then slide up, brief pause, and then upstroke on the A. Okay, and after you play that, after you play that opening lick. This is really the beginning of the form here in measure number two. That's, that's where the chords start. So in measure number one, there's really no chords over that. It's just an intro lick. And in measure number two, that's where the chords start playing. So we start with the D in measure number two. And we're starting with a slide up right off the bat on the G. So we're starting with the first fret. And I usually like to play this out of the open D chord position right here. So if, if you're taking that open D chord, that's how you're going to want to slide up. So it's like, take that open D chord, take your middle finger off, and then take your index finger and you're going to slide up on that G from the first fret to the second fret. And then with your ring finger, you're going to hit that B string on an upstroke. So it's a downstroke slide, followed by an upstroke on the B. Okay, and after you play that, you're going right back down to the G with a pull off on a downstroke. So you're starting on that first fret with your index finger on the G string, and you're doing a pull off on a downstroke. So it's. Okay, and then after you play that pull off, you're going straight into the D string on the third fret. This is kind of a, a classic Tony Rice move right here. So you're doing the pull off on the G, another downstroke on the D string third fret, upstroke open, downstroke open D. Okay, so starting with that pull off on the downstroke, it's gonna sound like this. Okay. Okay, and then after that, we have a really tough move here. This is actually, in my opinion, the hardest move of the entire song. And it doesn't help that it's right at the beginning. So basically, after you play that open G upstroke to open D downstroke, you're going to want to get your little finger on the fifth fret. Right there, on the D string, fifth fret. And then you're going to want to go back down with your index and your middle finger, and you're going to want to play that D chord shape again. And Tony Rice really likes these kind of chord shapes. So you've got your little finger on the D string 5th fret, and then you're playing the, the top two notes of the D open D chord with your index finger and your middle finger right here. And you're going to want to play the chord like this. And then once you get into that position, so you're going to play a downstroke on the D string 5th fret, 
followed by an upstroke on the third fret B string. And then you're gonna play another upstroke on the G string second fret. And then you're gonna do a pull off to open. So it's gonna sound like. I would just practice that over and over. Because that's a pretty tough move right there. So let's take a look at measure number two, start to finish. So we're starting with that slide up on the G string on the first fret to the second fret. Okay, and you're playing it with your index finger. And then with your ring finger, you're hitting the B string third fret. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's play measures number one and two together. We're starting with the intro lick. And we're going right into measure number two with the slide up with your index finger. And the way I think about this when we count off this first measure is we're starting this lick on the three count of the first measure. So we go one, two, three. So you're starting that upstroke on the A string right on the three count. One, two, three. So this transition between measures number two and three is also very difficult because you're coming out of this weird chord shape right here. And then you're going, with your little finger, you're going right up to that, you're keeping it on that fifth fret but you're moving it up to the A string. And then you're taking your index finger, you're putting it on the D string second fret. And then you're playing another downstroke on the fifth fret A string. So that transition, you're coming out of. It's gonna sound like that. Okay, and then after you play that, we're looking at an upstroke on the D string third fret. We're still holding these two notes with your little finger on the A string fifth fret and your index finger on the D string second fret. You're gonna take your middle finger then and you're gonna move it up one fret and you're gonna start the pull offs. On, a, on an upstroke. Another way to play this too, when you're coming out of measure number two and you're in this chord position, you can also initiate it with an open D. Instead of playing the D on the A string fifth fret, you can play an open D. That might be a little bit easier to do it that way. So in that case, you play the open D, followed by second fret D string, and then you get into the pull offs. So instead of going, you're going. Okay, so there's two ways to play it. Either one's fine, whatever's easiest for you. It's the exact same notes. Okay, so you're, in, you're into these pull-offs now. You're into this upstroke on these triple pull-offs. Right, so you're playing the triple pull-off and then you're playing an upstroke on the open G. So it's. Okay, so after you play that triple pull-off then, you're going to want to take your index finger and you're going to put it on the G string first fret. 
Okay, so a little bit of alternate picking there. And you can see that, that, that picking pattern, that up down, up down picking pattern on that. So third fret D string to open G. So you're coming off of that pull off on the G string first fret with your index finger on a down stroke. And after that, you're going there. So you're going fourth fret A string, up stroke. And then you're going third fret A string, down stroke. Okay, so let's take, a look, let's take a look at measure number three, start to finish. We're going to play it the Tony Rice way. So we're starting with that down stroke on the fifth fret A string. One, two, three, four. Okay, and going into measure number four, there's a lot of cool and subtle Tony Rice licks going on here. But we're looking at the, we're back in the D chord position now, and we're looking at this classic bluegrass lick in the key of D, and that is... So we're kind of vamping off of that. So we're starting with a downstroke on the first fret A string to a slide up to two. Followed by a downstroke on two again, A string. off and then we're back to the first fret a string again slide up open string open open G okay so it's kind of a Measure number four, starting with the slide up on the first fret A string. One, two, three, four. Play measures three and four together. So we're in measure number three. We're starting on the fifth fret A string to the triple pull off. One, two, three, four. Okay, looking at measure number five, we have another set of awesome Tony Rice licks here. So 
So we're starting with a slide up on the first fret A string on a down stroke, to an up stroke on the open D, to a down stroke on the second fret D string, and there's a slight rest. And then we got another down stroke. And we got a pull off on a down stroke. And that classic bluegrass lick in the key of D. Now he likes to use this lick a lot in this song, the classic open D bluegrass lick. He uses it in the intro and he uses it on a lot of the turnarounds as well. So let's play measure number five, start to finish. One, two, three, four. Let's play measures number four and five together. So remember measure number four, we're starting with that slide up on the A string first fret to the second fret to open. One, two, three, four. 